and it's an automatic fire extinguisher works on heat not smoke and so what you want to make sure is that uh, uh, that um, is all good it is checked as part of our checks uh, that we do before we hand over the boat so everything should be okay with that <laughs> Here's your dipstick for testing. Uh, to test it, you take it out, give it a wipe, stick it back in, take it out again, check the readings that the light, the light oil level is between the two points, and then put it back in to reset. Here we have the main battery isolation uh, panel for the boat. Uh, you've got your engine battery isolator, obviously it's on the moment, and you've got your domestic battery isolator. It's a common deal negative. You'll find that, the, uh, that this is a breaker for the windlass, so uh, if your windlass is for whatever reason uh, not working, uh, check that this hasn't just been clipped down, um, so that has to be in one position, like so, the other ones are going to be done. Also there's a breaker for the uh, motorised sun deck at the back, same thing really, um, if you find that this has been tripped in this position, give it a wee flick down, hopefully that will uh, reset the breakers. Also on here there's the uh, shunt, uh, so there's a key in the nav table that slots into the 890 degrees. If you're having problems starting your engine, uh, you can pull some power from the uh, domestic battery through to the uh, engine start battery. Hopefully that'll get you going, uh, but it is an emergency too often. Also here we have the uh, emergency uh, raw water shut off. The raw water intake is in the pump because the engine is a sealed drive unit. So the, uh, the stop that, switch off the roller uh, valve, just pull that and add the valve to the actual part. 